Good morning, everyone. It's good to be back today on our uh, early morning broadcast service. We just appreciate each one of you that are tuned in in our unseen audience and uh, appreciate the ones that will be listening to the radio. So you be much in prayer for all the sick, the afflicted, the needs out there today. Uh, we are uh, about to celebrate Independence Day. I just pray that people are just not uh, take it out just a celebration, but it'll take it to heart and hold it to heart and, uh, do what's needed that we stay independent and do what God wants us to do. So you pray for us all. Let's remember the sick, the afflicted. Um, thank you for all your prayers and praying for Joanne. She's doing a whole lot better and we're just thanking the Lord for that and ask you to continue to pray. And, uh, we just, uh, cannot begin to thank the Lord enough for all that he has done. I want you to pray where death has come, that the Lord would bring comfort, pray uh, for the needs of our nation, pray for our churches, pray for this war is and all this needless killing and going on. And uh, I pray that you would uh, pray that the Lord would touch and pray for these uh, states where, people, where they want to uh, uh, try to block the, anything from uh, stopping abortions and that and that's something today how how dumb that the people have gone and uh, uh, want to just keep killing and killing and killing like uh, like it ain't nothing. But one day they'll stand before the Lord, and I tell you that that innocent blood uh, is going to require uh, a judgment. I guarantee you that. And so let's pray the Lord would touch. Uh, let's send it out to all uh, the day that's in the hospitals, the homes, the rest homes. If you're lost. We hope and pray that you'll be saved uh, today. And may the Lord touch you. Well, we want to get started. May God bless you and you pray for us. Pray the Lord to strengthen our body and that we might do all we can to lift his name up. And we just say, I want to say I appreciate all the cards, all the calls, all the texts, uh, everything that has been done uh, uh, through this time of sickness. We appreciate every one of you. And may God bless you is our humble prayer. So let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you let us come today. We're honored to be back in your house and God, this blessed opportunity that's set before us. We pray for all the needs that's out there today under the sound of our voice and even others. And God, we ask that you might strengthen us and touch us and help us uh, that we might do all we can to lift up your name. Father, we pray that some world the lost soul would be saved today. Uh, God, that you would knock upon their heart's door. They might answer the call and be uh, born again. We ask you, God, that uh, you might just raise up these that are sick and afflicted. And God, take away all the pain. And uh, I pray that you guide the decisions that's to be made. And where death is come, God, that you might uh, be their comfort. They might seek you for the comfort and peace that they need uh, in this trying time. God bless each day, each service, each church that's founded on the word. And God, let us be found faithful in all things. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We send it to Clyde today. Hope you're doing well. And Sister Bobby and Mary Ann will send it to Sister Alice today. May God bless Sister Joe and Charles and Linda. We appreciate all of y'all today from the bottom of our heart. And I want to send it to Ava and Dennis. Uh, I, Ava, I appreciate uh, the work that you're doing, and may God continue to bless you uh, and and, uh, and helping and lifting people up uh, through your scriptures and all that you do and the contacts that you make. And we want to send it out to uh, uh, today to uh, uh, Randy and Donna. And also, we want to send it to Rodney and Christy and Malcolm and Ann. We appreciate all of y'all, Brother Dewey. Send it to you and. Uh, uh, Jimmy over in the Dry Creek area we send it to you and may the Lord bless you and all the folks at our church I know Leon Liz will be listening by radio uh, we'll send it out to them and to Kathy Blackman and uh, uh, Aaron and Kathy and Kenneth and Isley and uh, uh, Wanda and uh, may the Lord bless you and I thank the Lord for you and Lord and Nancy and uh, uh, all that might be listening, Sister Billy, we appreciate you and send it to you today. And may God bless you is our prayer. Uh, Wayne and uh, Sonia Tidmore and uh, Joe and Sonia, we pray send it to y'all. And uh, may the Lord touch you. Sister Judy Potter, if you're getting to watch, we send our program to you and to uh, Donna and Chris and 
We thank the Lord for all of you. And Judy Wallen, if you're getting to watch uh, today, David and Joyce, and we just thank the Lord for you. May God bless you. We'll give it a world today. Well, Lord, I've been busy here and there. Well, I've heard of that is pleasure. I'll proudly die my prayer. But now I find I'm empty. And if I confess my sin, Lord, you let me fill your spirit once again.
that the truth today. I send that out to Terry if he's listening. He will probably, if he's not today, he probably will be on the radio. So uh, you pray the Lord will bless and God will touch today. All right, you pray for Joseph as he comes uh, back around. And I, I know that uh, the Lord will bless you. And uh, you just keep praying the Lord use this service. Diane, the uh, married sister, put on there to be in prayer for their brother, Ralph. He had stents put in his leg, and his wife, Cheryl uh, Norton, had a, a liver transplant on Dutch. So they're asking us to do the thing. Amen. Uh, I'm not sure he really was. Who was that thing?
Amen. Well, I'm glad today the Lord's still moving in hearts and lives. I'm glad He's moving uh, here today for us, and I praise Him for all He's done in our life. And uh, I, I hope that uh, the Lord has touched you out there this today. If not, that He will before this service is over. Here's an old, old song. It's, uh, it's entitled, Jesus, Sign My Pardon. Boy, I was in since prison. I don't know about y'all, but uh, before the Lord saved me, I was uh, I was bound by the chains of sin, enslaved to sin. And, uh, you know, it took the precious blood of Jesus to set me free. And uh, he signed my pardon. Amen. Here I was in since prison, oh, so dark and cold. Yeah. 
Amen. Ain't you glad of that today? You don't have to give up. Praise the Lord. Just call on the Savior and, and he'll fill uh, your cup. Amen. I, I praise the Lord for that uh, today. Well, uh, let's do this one. Mary said, remember Eugene Davis in prayer to these uh, tests that he's had to go for this Amen. Let's remember these tests and uh, keep praying. Pray. Charles has had tests run and our church remember him and we send it to him if he's getting to watch today. And we'll slow this one down and I hope it'll be a blessing to you today. Many times I'm in the valley so low. Just look at Said, 
And there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whether it goeth, so is every one that is born of the Spirit. And Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Let us pray. Lord, I thank you today that you gave us another time to stand this morning. And God, we just ask that you might use us now to bring glory and honor to your name. And reach out and touch somebody, God, that's out there that's lost, that they be saved. Someone that has laid down their cross, that they might renew their vows through honest repentance. And uh, God, begin to live that life that you want them to live. And Father, I pray that you might stir the hearts of your children. Let us become bold and steadfast and unmoved. Uh, let us not give an inch to the devil or God or give way to sin or our compromise in any manner or fashion. We ask you today that, uh, Lord, we might stand on the set of the Lord and be found faithful, God, when we take our life's breath here in this life, that we'll be found faithful doing that which you'd have us to do. Father, again, uh, Lord, we come today, you know our needs, you know our body, you know our strengths and our weaknesses, and God, we just ask you to bless us today. Thank you again for answering prayer. Thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and God for what you're going to do. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want to uh, talk to you just a, a little bit today on the drawing power of God. And I, uh, I, I realize today that it uh, seems to be a diminishing thing in a lot of churches today because of compromise and self-will and self-justification and uh, ignorance to the things of God. People today are, are sitting on pews and uh, never feel a touch from the mighty hand of God. They never feel the Spirit of God. Sinners are not uh, being... Uh, I drawn into the altar because Amen. people today have become a stumbling block instead of a, a, a vessel. Friend of mine, we're, we're supposed to be a floodgate of God's glory and God's goodness. We're supposed to let uh, the goodness of God come in and send it out. We're supposed to channel His blessing. But, uh, friend, that is not what's happening today. Well, uh, let me get on into the message today. Friend, there's been a lot uh, said about this chapter, the third chapter of John. There's been a lot... Uh, said about these scriptures, I realize that, and ever uh, one is entitled to their own opinion, but uh, my heart has been impressed to look at this man called Nicodemus uh, uh, in the same way uh, that my heart once stood. I, I don't want to look at him in any other way today. Uh, people have speculated on this and speculated on that, but uh, I want to see him as a man like I was, a uh, uh, friend of mine, and how my heart was. Uh, uh, before I got right with the Lord, who he was, I, I friend, as far as his position might have been important to those around him, but I friend, it didn't impress the Lord at all. You see, he was a lost soul. Hey, I, I want you to understand that. Nicodemus was, was a lost soul I, hey, I, on his way to hell. His religious status and a man made claims that he was living, I, I friend, I had no, I, I was not doing him any good. He had no hope in eternal life. I, I know he was a member of the Sanhedrin court, though he could pass judgment on others, yet uh, he needed to judge himself. That he uh, was a sinner and on his way to hell. Uh, uh, like so many people are today. Man, I uh, uh, had no hope of ever uh, having 
everlasting life in God's kingdom, living the life that he was living. Uh, it was sad that Nicodemus being a teacher to Israel, that's why uh, uh, when the Lord said, uh, you being a master but you don't know these things, he meant that he was a teacher to Israel uh, uh, but he didn't have the knowledge of God's guilt. He didn't have the knowledge of uh, God's salvation plan. Uh, uh, he was no different than you and I. Uh, uh, prior to us being saved, he was living in life uh, uh, by his own rude. Uh, uh, living under the shadow of his upbringing. Uh, uh, friend, ain't that what people are today? Uh, uh, just running headlong into hell, living life their own way. Uh, uh, living by the shadow of their upbringing. Uh, uh, so many people are today. Uh, uh, they see no need of repentance. Uh, uh, they see no need of change. Uh, uh, because so many people today just got piles around their neck. Are uh, uh, living the same kind of life that they were living. Uh, uh, in the same places they are found, uh, doing the same things that they are doing. Uh, and God help us today to wake up. Uh, and while we still have time, uh, uh, God and come back to the old fashioned way uh, of serving God and worshiping Him. Uh, uh, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Uh, I've been listened by man's standard. Uh, uh, Nicodemus hurry out of conflict mud. Uh, uh, his position, as I said, was the Sanhedrin. I uh, uh, was no doubt in honored play. Uh, and there's people holding great position today. Uh, now that's as lost as they can be. Uh, and there's people holding positions in America. Uh, now that's lost and on their way to hell. Uh, now they got a title I realize that. Uh, now they say I'm this, they say I'm that. Uh, uh, but friend, you are what the fruit on your tree. Uh, uh, friend, don't tell me you're an apple tree. Uh, if you got plums all over hey, you. Uh, uh, don't tell me you're living right with God uh, uh, when you're living under the shadow of sin, uh, when you're trying to hide your life, uh, uh, but you can't hide it from God. Hey Amen. Now uh, uh, listen, friend, uh, uh, I thought about Nicodemus. Uh, uh, he was unsaved. He had no spiritual foundation. Uh, in his life. Uh, and the Bible tells us that he came to Jesus uh, uh, by night. Yes, he did. Uh, uh, some say he feared being seen by the others of his group. Uh, and he hid himself in the darkness. Uh, 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 maybe he was somewhat weary. I don't know. Uh, uh, but I'm convinced that there was a drawing of uh, uh, the Holy Spirit upon his heart. Uh, I wish something got a hold of Nicodemus. Uh, uh, something got a hold of him that sure he uh, uh, That made him want to go see this man called Jesus. Uh, are you sheep in your mind? Uh, uh, there must be something stirred up in your heart. How uh, uh, to come to know Jesus says Lord and Savior. Uh, you can't sashay up the aisle. Uh, I'm popping your bubble gum. Uh, I'm bringing like a clothes hanger's been in your mouth all night. Uh, and get right with God. You gotta come broken. Uh, uh, you gotta come under conviction. Uh, uh, you gotta become sorrowful of the life you're living. Uh, uh, you gotta uh, uh, and accept the bag uh, uh, that you're guilty in the eyes of God uh, and that you're going to come and pray an honest, repentant prayer. Uh, I wish something got a hold of Nicodemus uh, uh, because something got a hold of me uh, uh, before I could come to know Jesus. Uh, oh, listen, say what you want. Uh, I'm looking at him as a lost man. Uh, I'm looking right. at him as one on his way to hell. Uh, I'm looking at him as one. Uh, I pray to find that in his heart. Uh, I felt like he needed to find his way uh, uh, to Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, oh, listen, I believe. Uh, I'm an old fashioned Holy Ghost conviction. I uh, friend of mine. Uh, I got a hold of him. Uh, as he pondered on this man called Jesus, uh, as he allowed his heart to take hold uh, of the things that the Lord had done, uh, of the words uh, uh, that he said something, uh, of the him to stir no doubt in the depths of his soul. Uh, and it produced a longing uh, uh, for him to go where Jesus was. Uh, oh, God, help us today to have a longing. Uh, uh, God, help the Holy Spirit uh, uh, to be allowed to move in our meal. Uh, uh, to bring back a longing in the hearts of God's people. Uh, 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 some of you out there today uh, have neglected the house of God. Uh, uh, some of you out there have just quit God. Uh, uh, sit down on God all together. God help your soul. How to regain the longing. How to be back in fellowship with the Lord. How to be in fellowship with God. If you can forsake the house of God. I don't believe it. Can you tell me all you want to. I've been to mind if church was good enough for Jesus. It's good enough for you and me. Hey, 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 let me go on. Some of you done got mad. 
well bless your people in heart. Amen. I pray you've been patted on the back. You've been condoned in the life you're living. Our preachers have been afraid to preach. I pray, listen, what have you got to lose? I ain't showing up no how. What you got to lose? Just preach it. Amen. I just like it is. Amen. I listen to Nicodemus. I'm looking at him like he, uh, I feel like I was. Uh, I lost today. Something began to stir. Uh, I ain't as hardy. I had a long day. Uh, I had to go where Jesus was. Uh, I believe Nicodemus failed. Uh, by the drawing power of God. Uh, I believe something got a hold of him. Uh, I probably need something to get a hold of. Uh, our people today, our community, uh, our friend, our home, uh, our nation, our world, uh, our churches. Need to be gotten a hold of yeah. by the old fashioned Holy Ghost power. Yes, Sam, a Baptist. Any Baptist that don't believe in the Holy Ghost ain't got nothing no how. Or any of the rest of you. Well, praise the Lord. And the Bible said, without the Spirit, we're none of Him. I'm a bad friend. When I came to the altar, I got washed in the blood. I got sealed by the Holy Ghost. In the Spirit of God. I feel that I can give God more of me. I can quit being stingy. I live my life, my efforts, and my word. I can quit being stingy. I live my praise and adoration to the Lord. I can open up my heart and let the blessings of God flow like a mighty river. And bring honor and praise to the one on the throne that needs to be high. I wanted to get to Zacchaeus. I remember I'm talking about a drawing power of God. I'm talking about something that'll wake you up at night. I'm talking about something I know you get drunker than Cooter Joan. You can't get away from it. You can't go fishing and get away from it. You can't go hiking and get away from it. You can't hug a tree and get away from it. I'm talking about old fashioned conviction. Talking about something needs to come upon our land. I pray to wake people up. I know what is going on. I pray listen, I'm talking about the drawing power of God. Oh, listen to me. Hey man, today, friend of mine. And there's just so much old Nicodemus. I just didn't know. But the things that Jesus has done. I was every day. Nicodemus could not deny. There was something about this man called Jesus. I'm glad I can stand today and tell you. In my heart I proclaim to you. There's still something about this man called Jesus. I guess there is. I bring it hung on an old rugged crowd. He made an atonement for me. They shed his blood. I to pay a sin debt that I owed. I to set me free. Listen, I pray if you're saved, I ought to lift your hands to the Lord and give praise and glory unto God. Now that God loves someone like you as He did someone like me. I believe old Nicodemus had a heart that wanted how to do what's right. Like Jesus told him, I pray the same thing that He told you and me. How they had to come to turn with. How that you must be born. Again. I don't care what time you hold. I don't care how many times you've been baptized. I don't care if you've been breezed up and you're like a grease hog and water been the blower. None of that's going to get you to heaven. Amen. You must be born again. Now that which is born of the flesh, the Lord said his bread. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Now there's a water bird and there's a spiritual bird. I'm glad I've had them both. I've been born into this world and then I've been reborn. I'm to go to the world that is to come. I have Jesus as my Lord. I have Jesus as my Savior. I have Jesus as my coming King. I've been drawn to the Lord by the drawing power of God. I know my time is gone. Oh, I'm just getting wound up. I may God get the glory out of what we've said. May this man
They said, stir somebody's heart. You might say it made me mad. Well, you're just a prayer away from getting glad. You'd have been father had not I preached this message. But now that I have, oh, it's laying on your heart. I do what you will. I can God be the glory. We'll be back in a while if it God will. Thank you, amen, amen today.